How long was the first draft? <laughs> oh my god! Well, it's my life, so it was very long. I tell you, it was a hundred and like seventy pages, and it was developed by Cinereach. I don't know if you guys know them. They T did like tell us. yeah, they did like um, Beasts of the Southern Wild and Citizen Four. So they had actually heard me tell this funny story at this. Um, I'm a Creative Capital fellow, and about family secrets. And like, oh, you have to make that into a film. I was like, yeah, whatever. And I don't want to make a film about my family. Or my, I'm not crazy. And they kept pursuing me. And you know, it was the Trump era. And I was like, oh. And then I just offhandedly said, OK, I'll make a film about my family if it could be a comedy. I only want to do comedies, because like, during the Trump era, I was so depressed. All I just like, lived on SNL. And I said, that sounds brilliant. Let's do a comedy. I love the dad story. I love the brother stories. And it'll be in the, they're doing a TV version of this. They're doing it? No. Yeah, we're going to, we have a bunch of offers to make this into a series. And well, it'll be in the series. But for the film, it had to be about the mother-daughter. So everything else became the chorus to their story. So everything else had to drop out of the story. Even though it was interesting, it wasn't the core of the film. You know, the core of the film had to be the three generations of women. I think I set out and I said, you know, what's dividing this country? It was the Trump era. And I was like, it's our lack of empathy. We do not empathize with people that are different than us. And it's like, OK, every single character I have to empathize with as a writer. I empathize with my father, the other woman. I was very careful in casting that role. I wanted the most like, sympathetic, amazing woman to play the role of the other woman. Because um, in many ways, she was the maternal figure to yeah. both of these people. Yeah. She's not evil. No one in the story is evil. Everyone is trying to survive. So I think that's the challenge. It's like being realistic to the hard things, but also being empathetic. 